Hello, my name is Yumiko Takeshima. I'm a principal dancer with Dresden Semper Opera Ballet, and I'm also a designer for Yumiko Dancewear. I started dancing when I was four years old in Japan, and when I was 13, I went to San Francisco Ballet School. I was there for six months, then I went back to Japan, then I went back again a year later to San Francisco Ballet School. And when I was 16, I went to Universal Ballet South Korea. That was my first professional job. And I danced there for three years. Then I moved to New York, take classes with David Howard. And a year later, I got a job with Alberta Ballet Canada. And then I moved to Paris. I danced with a new company called Concord Dance, which they closed in six months because they couldn't keep up with funding, PT. And then I moved back to New York. I danced with Feld Ballet for six months. And then I had a job offered in Dutch National Ballet, 1993. And I danced there for 13 years. And 2006, I came to dress in Semper Opera Ballet. So it's been a long dancing career. I think it's funny over the years, dancing as a professional dancer so many years, um, it seems like it's so important that you don't put too much pressure on yourself and also not to punish yourself for mistakes that you made or what didn't happen on stage or you know when you got a long career you gotta kind of cheer yourself up all the time and also taking things seriously yes some things I should but a lot of things I realize it just matters in the bigger picture that maybe small details don't matter as much as where you want to get to eventually I think I learned to be independent when I was 13, when I went to America for the first time, because I couldn't speak English at all. I couldn't make friends so much because I couldn't communicate with them. And I just learned to be alone and find out where to go, how to do things by myself. And But I also like you know communicating with people, but something changed in me, I think, then to think for myself. Yeah, it certainly has changed. It changes quite often, I have to say, but um, at the moment, I just would love to feel joy, dancing. That's all, actually. I don't need too much. I would love to feel pleasure of a dance, and I like to keep that up as long as I can, if physically, if it's possible. But of course, when I was young, there were so much worries. Am I going to make it? You know, am I going to be able to join decent companies? Or am I going to find a choreographer to work with? Or all that worries. I had to prove myself, I thought. But all that stuff, I... Of course, I guess it's important for self-discipline, but... Yeah, over the years, you just think, oh, dancing is just such a wonderful thing to do. If I don't have to feel the pain physically, it's great. I don't need too much anymore. When I was a teenager, I was really fat, actually. And every day my teachers told me I have to lose weight. They really gave me some kind of damage in my head, I have to say. Gave me so much stress. Couldn't stop eating. But that stopped uh, around 16 when I first got my job as a professional. I just naturally lost weight, which was relief. That was one of the biggest issues I had when I was a kid. But then, um, since I became professional, the hardest time I went through was um, when I joined the company in Paris. It was an amazing company. It was a brand new company. 
so all the repertoire was new and all the choreographer came from all over the world to work with us all at once and it was so exciting on top of living in Paris was wonderful but then the um, company had to close and all the dancers we didn't get paid but the direction said if you keep performing you have income so we can keep up working but that just didn't happen but we kept working perhaps for two months without getting salary or and eventually we had no money to eat or of course we didn't have money to go home it was like probably the hardest thing I went through we had to go find another job it was a um, really heartbreaking thing that happened and then we all thought oh can't even imagine dancing again a lot of us who were in the company we had um, some kind of yeah, it was a real mental <laughs> damage. Well, we met in South Korea when I first got a job as a professional dancer in Universal Ballet. I was coming from San Francisco. He came from New York. And first day we met, he said to me, oh, let's get married and move to California. And I thought, <laughs> He's a little bit funny, but he was very interesting, and I had a lot to learn from him. And we, yeah, we've been together now for oof, 22 years. Yeah, yeah, incredible. Yeah, Marcus has been a um, wonderful help. Also, when we were dancing together, he always supported me mentally. And since he stopped dancing, he gave me enough room to dance. You know how you need to dedicate yourself to dance so many hours a day. He let me do that and when I have a hard time, he don't talk too much about it. He just tells me, oh, just look around, you know, think of other things. So my mind wasn't too stuck with dancing all the time, which is great. And also when I start to sew dancewear, I got to the point where I would work eight hours a day as a dancer and I come home and I perhaps saw a leotard for six hours and I was really tired and he saw me doing this over the year and he said to me well I think I'm going to open the workshop for you so you can just focus on designing and have somebody else sew your leotard so it's just amazing support that I've been getting from Mark it's wonderful I first started making dancewear the first year I joined Dutch National Ballet in 1993. I started to sew because um, I had no money when I moved to Holland. I had to sew my own curtains and big sheets, I mean big covers, all that stuff. And one day I found this fabric in a fabric store which was stretchy nylon. And I thought, oh, maybe I can make some dancewear. So I tried to make one and it took me about three days to make first one and then I wore it to the company and all the friends around me said oh can you make me the same so I had to start trying to make things for my friends around and um, basically since then I'm sewing every day and also uh, as for costume design uh, David Dawson was offered to make a new piece for Dutch National Ballet in 2000. Yeah, it was year 2000. And he asked me to design the costume for him. And I first said, no, why me? I mean, why am I a costume designer? And he said to me, well, I see you design a bunch of leotards for all your friends. So I guess you know how dancers like to feel, how they like to be looked at. So he told me to just give it a try. So that was my first costume design and I pretty much do every single costume design for him since. I still have trouble drawing. I'm not very good at it. It takes me about one hour to draw one design. 
And I also never study how to sew or anything about fashion, so I'm just going by sense. If I have some, I don't know. Sometimes I pop up with idea and I try to make it myself even and try to wear it, see how it feels. Costume design is also a very difficult thing. I have to say that I never thought this dance would go so far. I was only sewing for friends around. I did that for about 10 years. And it spread around to Japan, spread out to America. And I, before I knew it, it was getting so big. And then it turned into an official company. And now these days, I don't know, we make it for 100 different countries around the world now. And so it's really going by something that I never really planned already. But at this point, yes, I would like to take it a bit further. If it's possible, yes, I'd like to come up with some special lines, not only dancewear. I like to do more for workout outfits, but also warm-up suits. And if that goes, I would love to do wedding dress. That's maybe my dream.